Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. <clears throat> I want to show you what I made. This is the dream catcher. I did it at almost 24 inches. And instead of the word dreamer, I have a name. So this is an order. It's for a 16th birthday and it's going on a wall. So I think it's so pretty. It is cardstock, glitter cardstock on glitter cardstock. Originally, I don't like doing glitter on glitter, but in this case, I think it's okay because I think it went from light, dark, light. It didn't wash out the glitter. So you can see how pretty it is. Um, this dream catcher was so intricate that I couldn't get my glitter cardstock to cut and still not mess up there and also down here in the feathers. So that's why I did what I did. Um, okay, so this, let me make this smaller. Um, this SVG file is part of a July promo on Creative Fabrica. It's, I want to say, 30 cents right now. So it's definitely worth getting and not recreating all over by yourself. <laughs> um, but instead of the word dreamer, we changed it to the name. Um, I will show you how to do that. The name Isabella is also a font on Creative Fabrica. And I love their fonts and their files in general because of this right here, commercial usage allowed. So I don't have to keep track of where did I get that SVG file? Can I use it? Can I use the font? Everything that I use from Creative Fabrica, I can use and sell again. So I love that. So I actually have a subscription. If you opt for the subscription, then you can download whatever you want from their site. Um, I have a 30% off code for you. It's the useless crafter 30, all one word. And that gets you 30, if you do the subscription, it's 30% off every month. So it's quite the savings. I really like it. And what I like about it is all your images and your um, your fonts. I don't, the fonts I love just because there's so many fonts. It's way better than Design Space Access or any of the memberships there. Um, but what I like about the SVG files though is you can actually then get an offset. So like if you look at this, dream catcher it has an offset you can't do that with design space images because you can't take that design space image out of design space because so you need to be able to use inkscape to create that offset well you can't get any of your svg files into inkscape um so then all those images you wouldn't be able to do that so that's why i like using creative fabrica I rest my case. <laughs> all right, font lap pad. The other thing that I like is it connects all your letters for you. you. If you don't think it's a big deal, I'll tell you why it's a big deal. One, it's so much faster. So let me think of some long names that I can type in. See how quickly that is and it's all connected, right? The other thing is look at the T's and the L's. They're not all on the same um, height or whatever you want to call it, right? The T is up higher. This T goes down below a little bit more. So it's hard to adjust your letters in design space to make it look like it should look. So I like using Font Lab Pad. Then what you do is you go click on this pick list, save as, and you save it as an SVG file. Really, really easy and it's free, okay? All right, now we're going to go into Inkscape. So I'm only going to show you the Inkscape for the Dream Catcher because the name is the same process. Okay, so let's upload this. Go to Import, find your file. So this is Dreamer. Yes, that's the one. Now, like Design Space, you want to make sure it's unlocked. If you click on it, it's unlocked. We want to lock it because I want to make it big proportionately. Now. I am going to separate this. I think I can do that. Okay. Let's bring in a square. So I'm gonna bring in a square right here. And I'm gonna do it for Dreamer because if you remember, I don't want Dreamer. I'm doing my own, um, oops. So I want to do that, okay? And then I want to go to get my cursor and I'm going to grab this whole thing and go to object. And actually I want to go to path. <laughs> path and I want to go to difference. So it got rid of that, okay? Because I want just an offset of this and an offset of this and then you'll do an offset of the name. Okay, so now you want to go into the empty space. So just click on it, go to paint bucket click on a color and let's do 20 first okay so 20 this will make it 
grow by 20. So click on this. And sometimes it gets everything, sometimes it doesn't. So just, you know, click on, click on all your pieces so that you can get the offset. And you see, it's like, I never know when it's going to work and when it's going to get everything. Um, okay, so let's try to get that little area. Okay, and this, don't worry about this hole. Let's go over here and get that. All right, good, that worked out well. Now we want to go and hit the arrow again, um, hit in the white space because this is selected right now. We want to deselect it. So now nothing's selected. Go to paint bucket, go to another color, and we're going to grow by 40, okay? All right, so now click on this. Click on this. So we got our three layers. Don't worry about these little holes. Click on your cursor again, your arrow, and grab everything. And go to path, object to path. And now we're gonna save it as. Save as, and this is number two. Cause I didn't do it right the first time. <laughs> okay, so we saved it. Let's go into design space. Now you wanna do the same process for your name, whatever font that you pick, okay? So I've already done that. Let's go to upload. Upload image, browse. You gotta find your file. So it was Dreamer. Um, Dreamer offset demo two, here we go. Save. So I want this one and I've already did the name Isabella, here we go. So I'm gonna insert both, okay? Don't worry that it's two different sizes. I'm not worried about it right now. So here's this and here's this. So first thing is let's deal with this, okay? So let's grab this, ungroup it. So here's our blue. And I would, I think in my blue, let me look at my blue file. This part is all, um, it's there's no holes, as well as the arrow. So with here, I would just click contour and hide all. That will get rid of all these little holes. No one needs to see, it's just not worth it. Okay, so there's that. So let's move this down, move this down. Okay, our pink is in multiple areas, right? Multiple pieces because it didn't group it all at one time. So hit this one. This one's okay. So let's arrange send to the front. Let's just put it here. Okay, and then this one's already, let's see. Okay, so now our pink over here, you wanna grab all these pieces. So I'm gonna do it with the right-hand side panel. Hit the shift key and grab all these pink pieces, okay? Because we're gonna need to weld it together to make it one. All right, and then weld, and then perfect. This will go here. Now, there are a lot of small little holes here that I don't think is worth cutting. So go to contour and let's just um, click here at the number to get it to 100. And I would just deselect all these little holes. It's not worth trying to cut. No one's gonna see them. Um, I'm even tempted, let's see. Yeah, just the little ones. The little ones aren't worth it. These are nice. Um, that one's not, that one's small, okay. There. It's up to you if you wanna get rid of this one and these over here. I'm trying to see, I did have these, I can actually see them and I'll show you. So do you see how you can see through the blue right there? So that's what I got rid of, okay. All right, so we have that. And then this, let's just keep this for now. Um, arrange, send to the front, okay. So, um, let's, you know what, let's bring in a shape and let's separate those two items, okay? So let's put it there, there, and I'm gonna slice it. So now this piece is by itself, and we can get rid of all this. And the reason is because I wanna grab all these three pieces and go to a line, and I wanna do center. So it's centered perfectly. I'm gonna group it just for now so that it moves as one piece, okay? And I wanna do that the same for here. Um, go to align, center, and then group. 
So here's our two pieces. So there's our front or our left hand and our right hand. We need to work with the name. So here's the name. Click on it. Let's ungroup it. So same thing with this one, right? So the green, you can see the eye, the heart for the eye is separated. Grab the green, grab the green and weld. There's our piece. Here's Isabella. Let's arrange and send to the front. And let's, you know what? Let's um, match the colors up. So our back layer is blue. Here's our purple. And then our top layer is light purple. So let's bring that to the front, arrange, send to the front. Let's weld this heart together like so. So grab that heart and the purple Isabella and weld. There we go. And then we have this top layer. So this top layer arranged, sent to the front. It's gonna look like that. And same thing with this, grab these three items, align, center, and group it. So now it's moving all at once. Now it's up to you how big you want Isabella, okay? But I think I made it a little bit bigger because I want, and let's change the colors of this. This color needs to, let's just change it to black right now to match the name. And we will change this to black so that we know what our layers look like. Okay, so this, these two, let's bring this arrange sent to the front. I basically want to put this black, this black needs to touch this black because, actually no, the blacks don't need to touch, the purples need to touch. Because if the purple touches, then the blue touches because we're gonna weld it so that your blue is gonna look like this in the back, right? Here's the dream catcher, here's the name Isabella, and here's the arrow. So you see this blue piece is all one piece. Um, okay, so that side is okay. I feel like, let's see how long this is right now. Okay, so it could be longer. So if we want to, I wanna make this dream catcher a little bit bigger because I want to make the, well, it's okay, leave it leave it as is. Let's make the name match with this. So right now the black A doesn't match with this black arrow, right? It needs to be bigger in order for the width to match. So I would do this. I think that matches more. Do you see that? And then let's move this over here. So remember the purples need to touch. So I think that makes the purple touch. And let's arrange sent to the front so we can kind of see. So there, that all matches, okay? Now, if we want, we could move this up a little bit more. And then now I think that matches, that aligns more. So now that we have everything lined up, right? Let's grab all our blue layers. So hit the shift key and the blue here and let's weld it. So now it's all one piece, okay? And we're gonna arrange, send to the back. Then we're gonna do it with the purple layer. So here's our purple, purple, and purple. And we're gonna weld that as well. And that looks pretty good. That's not the cleanest but it's okay because it's in the back. We have our top layer on top, okay? So now let's bring our black, black, and black, and let's weld that. Did it weld? I didn't. Oh, hold on, let's undo it for a second. I don't know what happened. I've had the worst time recording this one. This is like my fourth try. It keeps either shutting down on me and then right now I'm having this issue. Hopefully it will undo for me, but you get the process. You start to weld the, the layers. And so it didn't matter that we took out the word dreamer, as long as you can kind of make everything fit. And when I did Isabella, you can kind of see it's minor. It has that little, blip right there but in the overall scheme of 24 inches that's not what you're going to notice as long as it kind of flows 
So if you check out on Instagram, you'll be able to see the final product with many, many pictures. Um, it looks like I'm stuck right now. So what I would do is once you have your three layers, then at that point, if you remember, we didn't hit our 23.5 inches yet. This is way longer than it is um, in height. So I was able to take this 23.5 inches and it still fit on a 12 by, 12 by 24 piece of cardstock. So it was three sheets of paper basically. All right, so I'm sorry if that didn't work out, um, but I would take the three layers go to align center it so you have it all centered and then take out the mats to 23.5 and then that way you can do it all right thanks guys <laughs> let me know if you have any comments or questions or if you have a project of your own i would love to help you out just let me know how bye